Uh, my name is James Whitecloud. When you think about events like this, history like this, there's so much more than this. Why is it important that, you know, people are carrying this on like this? Uh, well, I mean, well, you, you know, you said yourself, there are a lot of stories here uh, that need to be told. Uh, you know, because it's left out of a lot of history books. A lot of kids don't know about that history. A lot of kids don't know about it. Um, like I said, my story, her story, and my wife's story. Um, and, you know, and when they start doing these films and people start taking part in this, and it, you know, they come back and get some more stories. Uh, because as soon as you scratch the battery surface, then you're going to have to get into who he was and where he come from. So, you know, it, it just starts, you know, the ball rolling when we anticipate these things. I think every town has a story to tell. I think, um, you know, that, like I said, through things like this, when people start coming in and investigating and uh, wanting to know about things that have happened in the situation, uh, stories and the outcomes and, you know, what families are affected and things like that. I think a lot of people uh, would be interested in these things because Oklahoma is it's not just, uh, you know, it wasn't just discovered and people started making money. There, there were uh, tribes, uh, all kinds of people here, all kinds of stories. I think that's really important because, uh, you know, you, you want to say it was Indian land first and then, uh, you know, with the... Uh, with the land run and things like that, and then change hands. We're getting some of that back, but you know, there there was a story of somebody prospering before the land run, and there are stories of people prospering because of the land run, and you know, with the uh, Supreme Court making some decisions and you know, give us some, giving us some rights back. You know, it, it's telling even more stories now. Um, there's there are people out there that have these stories that weren't able to tell because nobody would listen. So now we're getting Andy the audience and, um, you know, you hope that continues to grow because like you said, we were just talking about Killers of the Flower Moon. Those people were uh, living a lie, you know, a hundred years now. And, uh, you know, when you peel those scabs back, there's people that are bound to be hurt, but, you know, America's took out some scabs that need to come on. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it, it's, do you want to live a lie or do you want to know the truth and, uh, you know, hope to make things better? So it's important to tell the stories uh, as they happen and, uh, you know, from people that were there or first-hand accounts and, uh, you know, kind of build off of that because I, I think that that starts the healing in the end. <clears throat>